We are very excited. Uh, very, in very um, just a few seconds, minutes, we're going to be joined by a 10-year-old chess prodigy from Nigeria. He now lives in the U.S. Tani is his name, Yovanka. And, and who is he? Yeah, he has a very impressive backstory. He moved to the U.S. His family were fleeing Boko Haram. And uh, because of the troubles there, he had to move to New York. And uh, of course, you know, he left behind everything in Nigeria and you move into poverty. And yeah, what is what is amazing about him is that he was actually living in a homeless shelter and he learned chess and he won the New York State Chess Scholastic wow. Championships at the age of eight, just after only learning the game for a year. Wow. Unbelievable stuff. And uh, yeah, basically, he's a child with a star and ascendant. You know, mm. he's doing better and better in chess. And there you can see we have this amazing tweet from Bill Clinton. Mm. Refugees enrich our nation and talent is universal, even if opportunity is not. The story made me smile. Tani Tirula, you exemplify a winning spirit in chess and in life and kudos to your hardworking parents. You should all stop by my office in Harlem. I'd love to meet you. Ooh. Wow, can you imagine that? You know, that is just absolutely brilliant that he, yeah, that Bill Clinton is taking notice of his story and that anything is possible. Fantastic. And we are now so, so excited to welcome Tani to the show. Hi, Tani, how are you? Oh, struggling a little bit with the sound here, I think. Um, we are waiting for Tani to join us. I can see the Christmas tree in the background there. That's an impressive tree. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. Uh, very nice. It made, made me feel very festive mm. there. Mm. Oh, was, uh, was... oh, there we have oh. it. Hi, Tani. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. We are so, so excited to have you join us. We are so inspired by your story, Tani. And uh, Yovanka just uh, told us, we know at only 10 years old, you've been through a lot of uh, hard stuff in your life. Now, what has chess meant to you? Uh, chess is a game of opportunity and you have to, every single move that you play, you have to get your chance. Even if it's the first move, you got to play. It's like an opportunity game. You, there's chances 50-50. You're going to win or you're going to lose. You want to win, but I mean, it's just <laughs> opportunity. Fantastic. And uh, we know you're 10 years old now. For how many years have you been playing chess? Around, I guess, two now. Two now. Two years only. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, but you've quite explosively become very good at chess then. Um, what do you think it is that makes you so good in chess? Um, probably my talent and the work I put into chess at, and probably the way I play on the board and uh, thinking and uh, the cycle that I do on the board. Fantastic. And actually we talked about it. Uh, Bill Clinton invited you uh, to complain. Have you actually been uh, visiting Bill Clinton? Yes, I have. Wow, what was that like? I mean, it was a lot of like a lot of statues and I was like so curious. What is this? What is that? What is this? And that is this. It was a lot. So did you play chess with him? Um, yes, we played a few, few games that I, uh, I crushed. Them. <laughs> you, so you actually, you have crushed uh, a former U.S. president in chess. That must be, that must feel fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so <laughs> then we can actually see. Yeah, a lot of statues. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of statues. Yeah, you're quite right there. So I just have to ask the question, who is your favorite chess player? And oh. What is your chess style? Mm, uh, I could say Haikaru, but Magnus, Levon, I guess those are my three best. Mm -hmm. And your style? Aggressive. Aggressive. Ah, <laughs> yay, we love watching aggressive chess. Yeah, David. Actually, actually, Tani, I've seen quite a lot of your games and I'm a big, big fan. What are your goals in chess? What do you want to achieve over the next few years? I want to, I want to become the youngest grandmaster. I'm working to it. Um, 2100 USCF. And um, I don't know what my feet, my feet day is right now. It hasn't updated, but I'm still trying to get some arms and get the GM, youngest GM title. Yeah, but actually, so we know that 2020 has been a strange year. Probably you haven't been able to play too many over the board Tournament. So what should we expect from you already in 2021 then? 
2021 should be a blast. I mean, I have played a quite bit of tournaments in 2020 over the board. Like, I'm going to also play one today. Oh. Um, but, uh, yes, it is tough going around, but um, I do play some over the board tournaments in 2020, but now it's 2021, so new fresh start. And how are you it's training? So it's just like people are still referring to 2020. Oh. It's, what, it's just two days in 2021. Just two days. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and then how are you training? I mean, what is your favorite part? I'm probably studying openings and getting prepped for my opponents. If I don't know them, I just, and then I just prep, prep, prep and um, see if I can beat them. I also do my prep over the board so that I could get a mindset, not I'm playing, I'm studying online. It's like, I'm going to play an over the board tournament and you're studying online. It's like, you're so used to the computer all the time. You're like, when you get to the board, you're gonna like, oh, where's the computer to play? Ah. And then if you do the studying over the board, then you'll be like, okay, it's going to be more usual to you. And Tani, have you been watching this tournament? Who do you think is going to win in the mm. final? Uh, yes, I have been watching the tournament since day one, but um, I don't know. Levant, Timor, um, it's a draw in the first round, so I don't know what I'm voting for, but I don't know. Maybe Levon will win, I don't know. Mm, so we have a little vote, sure. vote for Levon there then. I know yeah. it, it is hard. They are two very equal players. Um, now, um, uh, Tanya, I also know, is it true that there is a book about you or you uh, together with Raisha have come out with a book? Is that right? Yeah, it's up on there. Oh, you have it? Yes. Should I get it? Yeah, do it. Okay. This is definitely a book I want to get. I bet it is very inspirational as we see Tanya going. To grab there's the different book. books there's the this one there's this is the for kids book tawny's new home wow, wow. Um, yeah that's one and then this is the london book if you're europe or london wow. to get this book and then these are the uh any just any book you can read this is like it says up here. That looks like Young a very Reader's cool edition. book. It says Young, Re Young Reader's Edition, like 17, 16, 15, limit like that. And then these are adults. Uh, the three of you should read it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I am definitely ordering those books uh, right after we finish broadcast today. Fantastic. And Tani, finally. Uh, just 10 years old, you're already doing so good in chess, aiming to become the world's youngest grandmasters. Now, what is your tip for other young people watching this, if they also want to get really good in chess? Yeah, probably that um, talent beats hard... I mean, harder beats talent if talent does not have hard work. And if you have talent, don't think it's just an easy path to success. You also need to hard work. There's no easy way in life. Like... You, it's just it's you if you take the easy way then like in the future it's going to be a thousand times harder take the hard way in the future it'll be a thousand times easier wow i agree all right tony um thank you so much for joining us we are looking so much forward to follow your journey to the top of chess i bet we're going to see you there someday yeah thank you thank you bye Best of luck in 2021. Best of luck, Tony. Yeah, happy 2021. Whoa, yay. <laughs>